All right, shalom, shalom, good evening, boys here. Well, what I wanted to do is I wanted to get on here uh, this evening and talk about something uh, that is, as we all know, uh, is a very challenging subject to uh, address. It's a very disheartening subject to address. And that is the phenomenon that we are having today uh, in the African-American community, black community, of the phenomenon of baby mamas uh, or uh, out of wedlock children and how it's affecting society today. How is it affecting the, the construct and the building of the family going forward? Uh, what we've seen from the 70s, uh, which is the crack e epidemic going on in the 80s and the 90s, is we've seen this feminist uh, movement have severe and dire consequences to the minds of women. Uh, if you look back 50, 60, 70 years, you had a phenomenon or a situation where we as uh, black people were more inclined to get married, have a family, uh, teach that family basic uh, morals and values according to our customs. And when you fast forward today, that's all gone. That's all gone. Well, like I said, you know, the rise of feminism uh, and the change of the value system here in America and within our culture has created a situation that is unprecedented and it is dire. I was just now reading a story off of the wall that's basically saying that uh, the majority of young black children cannot read or uh, uh, write or do any type of reading comprehension on uh, a basic level, meaning that, you know, we're, we're raising illiterate children. And the baby mama phenomenon, which nobody wants to talk about because, again, uh, you know, it affects us because we have nieces, we have cousins, we have sisters that have fallen into this trap. Uh, they've gone out and gotten pregnant, uh, had children, and now they are, they have the title of baby mama. And the problem is today, again, is that you see the, the ramifications of this. You see, it, typically everybody this day and age has uh, children out of wedlock, our young black sisters. And, you know, you look on Facebook, you look at Instagram, you look at profiles and stuff, and you see damn near who doesn't have a child today. And how do you build a family based on something that is broken? And, you know, I've been around and I've been with women with children, uh, the mother of my child, uh, she had a daughter prior and I must say, uh, looking back at it and looking at everybody that's talking about, uh, this situation and how they've uh, experienced this situation, uh, when it comes to getting in relationships with baby mamas or women with children, uh, it's a, a resounding no, no, because see, if you're a progressive man and I'm not only talking about, uh, uh, I'm talking about progressive men. I'm talking about men uh, of ability, men who have careers, men who are on a certain path. And if you're that kind of man, uh, it is not recommended for you to uh, start what we refer to or what is the reality is a ready-made family. Because what this woman is asking you to do is she's asking you to be a stepfather to her child. And uh, from what I've experienced, none of these women actually put you first because see their highest priority is their child and their goal is to get you to take care of somebody else's child that they chose not to be with or th th that man chose not to be with them whatever the situation is that is a drama infested situation uh even in the faith i've attempted uh and failed miserably at covering women with children and you think that just because a woman says that she believes in God or she, uh, you know, she's going to submit. You know, I tell you, when it comes down to the actual scenarios of it, there's very few uh, 
successful case studies and successful stories that I'm aware of where it's actually worked out. Um, because as a man, and if you're progressing, if you're trying to move forward, you have to deal with all of the baby daddy drama. You have to deal with the, 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 uh, 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 child custody issues. You have to deal with the visitation. And if you're uh, a Hebrew man taking care of your Hebrew responsibilities, who's paying for all of this? Who's paying for all of these trips? Who's paying for all of this gas? Who's paying for all of this airfare and stuff? Um, and you see how, you know, from a huge break perspective, it can be a huge problem, right? Not even in dealing with the emotional and psychological uh, trauma that these women have been through, because not only uh, uh, these sisters, they typically, they don't have a father figure. Their mother uh, uh, was a baby mama themselves, and they've gone down the same path as their mother and their, gen their, their grandmother, because these are generational curses that are being brought forward. So... When it comes to men that are progressive, uh, it's very difficult to deal with women. And, you know, I mean, I was, you know, you know when I first met uh, Elder Mary RT, he says, you know, I was, uh, you know, I wifed two uh, baby mamas. And he said, get rid of them both. And the reason why I understand is due to the simple fact that, you know, these women are not wives. Now, I know it's very difficult and it's very hard uh, and challenging uh, to accept, but the truth is that their concubines and maidservants at best. And from the situations that I've seen, the even concubines and maidservants, they don't even work out uh, because they have all of this baggage and all of this trauma, you see? And you, as a progressive man, you have to deal with this stuff, Okay. And this is why it's important to not only start your family fresh, uh, but not mislabeling or uh, someone that is not a wife. You see, see, because see, again, the fact of the matter is that a woman that has a child by other man, her responsibility uh, is not to be your first. Her responsibility is to make her child first and everything else is secondary. That's just the basic physiology and the mental thought process uh, uh, of a woman, you see? And if that's not your child, uh, we hear all the time of women getting in relationships with pookies and bray rays, uh, and these children end up getting abused. You have situations where these women are leaving these, these girls alone with uh, 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 men that are molesting them, that are having sexual intercourse with them. Um, uh, and, and this is a sad situation. Where's the father? Where's the mother? What's, what's going on here? And that, see, that stuff carries forward. You know, my wife used to work in child services, uh, in social services. And, you know, the stories that she has experienced as a social worker going into homes, seeing this stuff happen firsthand is quite grueling. She's seen uh, and so she can identify because she's qualified and she's educated to understand what the psychological aspects is going on. What is the home front aspect going on? And it's just not a good situation. And typically these women uh, uh, end up linking up with more uh, uh, men that just want to use them for sex and they end up getting pregnant again. You know, it, it's it's sad to see uh, on Facebook uh, during the past two, three years, uh, see sisters to go on and, and they get into a relationship and, and then I, uh, they're out of a relationship and then they're pregnant and they're on to the next man and then they're on to the next relationship and, and then that man dumps them and I, you know, I can go on and on and on, okay? But there is a problem that has to be addressed. Now, what is the solution? Well, the solution is quite clear because, see, uh, from a Hebraic perspective, a woman and a help me, her responsibility is to you and you first. And this is why uh, we say, uh, hey, listen, you know, you don't want to be wife in these women because they're not going to put you first. They're not your priority. They have, and especially if you're a man with vision. I've seen men and even to this day have no vision, have no spark, have no real skills. They done linked up with baby mama. She done had two, three, four children or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And they and they had children and uh, uh, all of this chaos or whatever. You see? 
all this chaos is going on. And you see this time and time and time again. And so, you know, uh, 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 it's a sad thing to see what's going on uh, amongst our people. And how does it stop? This is why I go on and on again about making sure that we are raising our daughters right. Because see, if you if these young girls are not raised in a stable home where they see what it means to have a husband and a wife and a family working together, they're gonna go and repeat the same mistakes that their parents are, are going to teach them. Why? Because their parents didn't have, or their mother didn't have a situation where she was in a scenario where she saw a husband and wife working together. How do you take a woman that is that is not willing to be taught, that did not grow up in a, an environment where she saw a husband and wife working together, how do you take that situation and turn it around? I've always said over and over again, if the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not working, if there's not a higher power that's working, you ain't going to get nothing at all. You ain't going to get nothing at all. I've seen elders, you know, as of recent, uh, this year, take on women, uh, make them maid servants, make them concubines. And even those situations, if I've seen several situations like that. And again, it's sad because now these women who've already been with multiple men in the past, they're racking up more body counts. And, and, and it's sad because all men want to do with these women is just sleep with them. They don't want to marry them. They just, they're just a good time sex partner uh, to have a good time. And listen here, I've been out in that city and I've seen these situations go on. You see? Where, you know, listen here, you know, she's just smash material. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to wife no chick because I'm not trying to take care of, you know what I'm saying? This and this and this and this and this. Uh, and these children dealing with these drama. And let me tell you, as a man has had uh, a child by a woman has had children, uh, a child by another man, that is not something that you want to get yourself involved in. Kevin Samuels talks about this a lot. A, a lot of people, uh, Jordan Peterson talks about this a lot. It is not a good deal for you to be linking up with women that have children. Now, it seems as though, again, the problem that we're having again is that so many of them, the vast majority of them already have children. I've seen this. They already have children. So if you want to build your family, you start compromising and stuff. But it's just simply put, it's just not the way to go. It is not the way to go. Uh, uh, in Israel, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, you know, I, I was I was just talking to another brother the other day. He was talking about, you know what I'm saying, some situations. But the idea is that, you know, uh, when you see these situations, it's always the same kind of scenario. You know what I'm saying? This woman had multiple. She Not only have these women been with a lot of men. They've had multiple children by multiple men, you see? And now they're in a situation where they still want to be married. They still want to be in a situation where they're loved just like anybody else, you see? But again, as a man, and this is why we say, you know, they say all the time, you know what I'm saying? Let these bone quiches and stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's rowdy, that don't want to submit them. Let them link up with the Pookies and Ray Rays. There's plenty of Pookies and Ray Rays out there. And I see them all the time. You see what I'm saying? But you as a progressive man, you as a man that has vision, you as a man that has skills, you as a man that, that has a direction in your life, that situation is not going to add. That situation is a total liability. Now, again, it's sad because so many sisters, you see all of them goddamn babies already. And it's sad to see again, they, they're jumping from man to man to man to man. The child is looking at these situations and they're... It's chaos because, see, nobody ain't thinking about the children to be truthful with you. The fact is that a lot of these women, they don't have a lot of self-love. You see that they have low self-images, low self-esteem, um, and they're viewed as easy pickings, easy sex, uh, 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 easy, easy sex uh, hits where you can just have sex with them and, and discard them away. So you don't want to be in the, you don't want your daughters growing up to be in this situation because once it's done, it's done. Once it's, once it's done, it's done. 
I saw one situ- sis- sister, her name is Sister Landy. I'll say her name uh, because it's a beautiful story of a sister. You know what I'm saying? You know, she got with a, she, she got with a, a, a boyfriend, a husband, whatever. And then she broke up with him for whatever reason. And I was talking, I was like, you do, you know what's going on out here, sister? You know what I'm saying? And she was like, yeah, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, she reached out to me to um, uh, ask me questions about um, uh, something else. But I was like, yo, sister, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, there ain't nothing out here. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to these situations, why don't you just go ahead and link up back with, you know what I'm saying, your baby father because there's nothing out here. And the same thing that Kevin Sam is saying, why would you want to go? Because, you know, a lot of people don't know the law. And the law says that you can't put diverse seed in the same hole. And, and that's what we got. That's why you got schizophrenic women going on because you got these women that's going and they're having... A child with, with, with daddy one. And then they're having a child with daddy two. And then they're having a child with daddy three. Seldom if ever I've heard or have I've seen situations where these kind of deals take place where they turn out well. Where there's kind of some type of positive scenario that's going on as a direct result of these situations. So that's why I say again, and this is why a, a lot of uh, brothers say, you know what I'm saying? A lot of elders say that concubines at best. Now, again, this is not something that uh, women want to hear, especially in society today where everybody's been told that they're queen, be mother, that they're divas, that they're, they're princesses, that, that, they're, that they're queens and this, that, and the third or whatever. But the truth is, is that once you start popping out these children by multiple men, your value, your sexual value, value, your sexual marketplace value plummets. And what real man wants to deal with that? Sure, a couple, a couple of pookies and ray rays, you know what I'm saying? But again, I've tried it myself. I've been in situations where, you know, I've said, you know what, listen here, let me give this sister a shot. And it always turned out to be drama. It always turned out to be issues. This is not a situation that you want to be in. This is not a situation where you want to uh, think that you're going to build a family with somebody else's broken families. Da- baby daddies are pookies. Baby daddies are com- combative. Baby daddies, you know what I'm saying? You got, you trying to build something? Leave it to the dude that you know what I'm saying uh, ain't got nothing to build. And if you are going to wife them, concubines and maidservants because that's just the truth of the matter if she can't put you first above her child concubine maidservant and you see more and more again across the board these situations not even working out why because these women have again been with so many men they haven't had any kind of deliverance any kind of spiritual warfare they're coming with all these ideologies thinking that they still a one when they're really a, 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 a 10 when they're really a four. You got these situations going on. No, you're not going to build with that. You're not going to build with that at all. It is sorry. It's the sad situation of the matter. The only way that we're going to correct this situation is by raising daughters of Zion that has not been through a whole bunch of traumatic situations that can go into a man's house and be a help meet to a man. I know it's a painful truth, but this is the situation when it comes to um, our sisters today. If you don't believe it's the truth, look at a standard profile and you'll see a baby. You see, you know, Facebook, you know, they got, and they got that baby sitting right there in the back of their profile. That's who their pro- that's who their priority is, and they're looking for a man that's going to bear the brunt of the man that they chose. Because see, at the end of the day, women make a choice. You open it, see a, a woman open up uh, up her legs to a man because she made a choice, and she got pregnant by a man because she made a choice. It's all a choice, and unfortunately, a lot of sisters are making bad choices. Because there's not somebody that's in their life that's going to say, you know what I'm saying? You know, sister, hold off. Or sister, hold off on your situation or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Well, why don't you go in in, in, in successful matchmaking, you see? 
And that ain't even going on because a lot of people don't know what the hell they're doing when it comes to that. And I've gotten it out of previous videos. Stay away from people that don't know what the hell they're doing, that they can't show you any kind of proof that they have any experience or whatever, let alone at their own families. How in the hell are you going to have 43 children and 17 of them are following you? And you don't put your seed in all kinds of women. It's a literal mess out there. It's a damn shame. What are solutions? Strong families. Sound minds. Raising daughters as Zion. Taking her to ones that want to be worked with. Where you can deal with them spiritually and build up on them. Push the rest of the trash. You know, Pastor Dow said, you know what I'm saying, one time, let the good women link up with the good men. And let the trash link up with the trash and let that and, and let that be the divide. But if you think that you know what I'm saying you're gonna go and you're gonna get into the bottom of the scrape of the bottle of barrel and get trash, you know what I'm saying, and make that into a wife, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. Whether it's a monogamous or a polygynous situation, especially a polygynous one. Failure after failure after failure. After failure, after failure. You got brothers out there building their house with baby mamas. I mean, I, I, I was shocked when I heard the, the, the particular scenarios. But it doesn't work. Especially when you speak to brothers, you know what I'm saying, and men that get on, you know what I'm saying, anywhere between all these videos talking about never date a single mama. The, 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 don't, don't deal with these single women. This, that, and the third. It's always low quality men at the end of the day that can tolerate this shit because there's a whole lot of drama that comes along with it. And a man that's progressive, a man that, hey, he about going forward, not backwards. Got to go. Got to go. Stressful situation. No good deal. You trying to build. How are you going to build with somebody else's family? It cannot be done. It's very rare cases that it can be done. And I look at the situations. You know what I'm saying? Not quality of men that these women end up linking up with. So, in conclusion, be careful with dealing with baby mamas. How is that going to benefit you? If you have a vision. If you ain't got no vision or whatever and you just links it, need somebody to jump up on or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I guess that's the good option for you. But if you're about your vision, if you're about something, building something, and if these women are not coming into your house after you taking care of somebody else's child, wow! And she talking shit? And she giving you problems? Not a good deal. Concubines made servants at best. Make sure that you're raising your daughters right. Make sure you're not getting... Uh, because, see, uh, somebody that's destroyed like that and it's all over the place, the amount of spiritual work and effort that you're going to have to put up with far exceeds any gains that you're going to get in the long term. But what are your thoughts? Do you think that, you know what I'm saying, because all these baby mamas, you know what I'm saying, they got to go somewhere, they got to do something. Or well, they can wait until their children get old and then go out, you know what I'm saying, and and uh, 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 have, you know, get into a relationship then. Those are the only scenarios. Well, if not, they have to be, listen here, you know what I'm saying, one of the most submissive women that I have ever seen on the face of planet Earth to be, you know what I'm saying, to be me to be dealing with them, but it's not even worth it. And that's the key. That's the problem. You don't think this is a problem? Look on Facebook and see how many baby mamas there is. Proud baby mamas. No man, no ring. Still thinking they this shit. The arrogance that you see today is off the chain but 
tell me what you think, because this is an honest discussion. This is a real um, uh, problem that we're having, uh, especially in our, you know, in our community. What do you think what the solutions are? Where was I off? Please let me know.